hello 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 good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone welcome to my channel my name is obanje joseph please please subscribe to this channel share like as well as drop a comment on the comment section so today we're looking at the functions the functions of pressure groups the functions of pressure groups now pressure groups in every country perform series of functions one of the functions performed by pressure group is that they offer useful suggestion to the government now pressure group act as a connecting rod or nexus between the government <clears throat> and the people this interface is in the area of public enlightenment of the populace either through the media or other links of the activities of the government especially as it affects them that's number one number two they act as watchdogs over government pressure groups have the responsibility to checkmate the government in order to prevent government excesses the pressure groups can speak against injustice and even protest where it is obvious that the government has become insensitive to the plight of the masses they also assist in the surveillance of the government by exposing information you know it would rather keep secret thereby reinforcing and complementing you know the work of opposition through political parties pressure groups there thereby improve the accountability of decision makers to electorates they exist to provide oversight you know and rating of actions on the media by various outlets both government and you know and corporate you know organizations now um um <clears throat> What they also do is that, you know, they may also index personalities, organizations, products, and activities in database, you know, to provide coverage and rating of the value or viability of such entities to target demographics. Number three, they assist the government in carrying out some of its functions. It is a fact that pressure groups assist the government in the execution of some of its, its functions in different areas. Government do not, you know, government do delegate pressure groups that are expert in certain fields, you know, to handle its programs. E.g., Nigeria Medical Association gives government inputs on the reduction of the dreaded AIDS and HIV ravaging in some parts of the country. Another function performed by the pressure group is that they protect members' interests. Now, the interest of the members, which is one of the cardinal reasons why they are set up in the first place, are protected. You know, they make, they make sure that their members are not unduly marginalized or, you know, victimized from any quarter okay another function of pressure group is that they increase social cohesion and political stability pressure groups may you know make sure that they provide the safety valve valve outlet for individual and collective grievances and demands and as well as you know as such prevent it you know you know present it to the government and pressurize the government to meet the people's needs by so doing there will be increased social cohesion and political stability where the people's will is not taken into consideration the pressure group is there to pressurize you know is there to ensure that their concerns are mainstreamed into the policies and programs you know of the government Another function is that they perform statistics. Sorry, they provide statistics that assist the government. 
Now, pressure groups helps, you know, help legislators and officials of the government with statistical data, inputs, and some important and technical issues which they cannot ordinarily handle for the implementation of government policies. Okay, another point is that <clears throat> pressure groups enable new concerns and issues, you know, to reach the political class. Now, pressure groups facilitate, you know, social progress and prevent social stagnation. As issues unfold, and it is good for the polity, pressure groups take it up, blow it beyond proportion for the policy makers to mainstream it into policies and programs of the government. Another function of pressure group is that they also provide legal defense to fight the cause they believe in. This is carried out by pressure groups that feel that their rights and all privileges of their sympathizers or supporters are trampled upon. Another function to perform is that they are a link between the people and the government. Now, pressure groups serve as a powerful link between the people and the government. This is done by officials of the pressure group, you know, consulting with the representatives of the government and presenting the views slash demands of the people, you know, to the representatives of the government. Now, another function that they perform is that, you know, you know, is that, <clears throat> is that their activities, you know, are centered around influencing the decisions of government. Now, pressure groups use various techniques, you know, to influence the decisions of government. They also, you know, they are groups that articulate and aggregate public opinion and you say to make a case you know, for government's actions. Now, influence is the major backbone of the pressure groups. If you remove influence from pressure groups, they become like toothless bulldogs because that is the basis upon which, you know, they exist. Okay? So, um, that is, um, that is another, um, another function another function of pressure groups is that they modify public opinion now pressure group blend and modify public opinion and make it more exact if the opinion is specific and exact the easier it is for the political leaders you know to act on the wishes of the people some people even refer to these as interest articulation Okay, the next one is that they protect the interest of their members. You know, pressure groups, you know, influence government decisions to suit the interest of their members. Okay, whatever will improve and raise the welfare of their members is what preoccupies their minds. Okay, so the next one is that they are not interested in capturing power. Okay, pressure groups do not contest elections. And so they do not, you know, they are not out, you know, to rule the state, but checkmate the policies and programs of the state such that the government is made to listen, to listen and act on the yearnings and aspirations of the people. So, so far, you know, these are the functions of pressure groups, you know, that they perform in every society. Thank you very much.